This episode of MMA Notes is brought to you by NordVPN. Get advanced security, internet freedom, and complete privacy. Save 73% off the two year plan plus four months free with code MMA Nuts. Polar Pod, the most affordable cold plunge pod on the market. Save 10% off with code MMA. Nectar Sleep, the most comfortable bed possible. Save 33% off and get free shipping with code MMA Nuts. Hotel Collection, bring luxury hotel scenting home. Save 45% percent off with code MMA45. Defense soap. Everyday soaps for everybody. Use code MMA Nuts to save 15% off your order. Hey fans, this is MMA Nuts episode 627. 627. My name is Ingo Weigel. I'm like losing my voice. Magrath MMA Show. By my fans, for my fans, walk the line between serious and ridiculous. What are you drinking? Chocolate flavored Yoohoo! I wish that sounds amazing. No, this is like a sparkling water, pineapple flavor. There you go. I thought I was grabbing a Zevia. And by the way, I do have the new cans all of a sudden, as of like a week ago. They are very weird. You're right. Trippy, right? Like you've thrown my whole chi off. Like I had a, I had a nice setup in my fridge, and now it's so off putting because I think it's lemon lime and root beer, and there might be one other flavor that's the new design. Everything else is still old, so. It's probably just the Amazon warehouse wrote selling all the old shit off before you get to the Mm -hmm. newer, you know. Yep. Very strange, but whatever. Yep. The bears. To that bears. Bears. I think this is the year, Matt. We're going to beat the Packers. It's going to fuck. Yeah. This first game of the season too, right? Yeah. Yep. Happening this weekend. So it's insane. Can't believe it. There's so much hype. Like we're going through having the first, draft pick overall trading it like who are they gonna draft all that shit gonna win the super bowl or at least justin fields mvp i know you put the the money on it put the money it's an afternoon game like three or four o'clock the bears Mm -hmm. what uh i always watch it on tape delay and all you guys keep tweeting or texting like oh my god did you see that i'm like i can't fucking read your tweets because i like to skip through all the like every play i'm like no commercial, no commercial. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. we'll see. And then the Blackhawks should be starting preseason. I don't know, sometime soon. Yeah, the next two months. I think that starts up real hockey too. Good to see our number one draft pick. Mm-hmm. Do some damage. Yeah, they sold a fuck ton of tickets. They sure did. All right, we'll see what happens. Uh, I will say the Bears. I, I, what's the over under on wins for them this year? I'm going to say it's got to be nine. Nine. Yeah. I would say nine. Nine is the over under. I think yeah. I'm going to go with 10. I'm going to go out on a lim- limb and say they're going to get 10 wins, which, which isn't unreasonable because last year would they have three? And then I think they lost seven games by a score or less. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. they're in there. They are in there. I mean, it just all depends on what we're looking at as far as, you know, schedule wise. How, how yeah, I thought they had go. a pretty weak schedule too. So it seemed, I think it everything's seemed like... lining up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Speaking of lining up, let's talk some UFC. There's... Hey. Oh. God, God versus Spivak. 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 Yeah. Blah, blah. You heard him. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say what a fucking annoying crowd over there yeah. <laughs> because they're singing so loud. I can't hear the fight. I can't hear the commentators. I can barely hear the fucking corners. Mm-hmm. You know what? If you're in a crowd, shut the fuck up. But I will give them credit because I don't recall hearing many. Woo. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just loud, loud fucking singing. So what were your thoughts on Gone? beating this other kid like a bald-headed stepchild. Yeah. Well, I mean, Gan looked good. I thought, you know, he was moving around a lot in the first round. Um, I think he had, like, some jabs going, some leg kicks. Um, I think he, he even stuffed some takedowns. Yeah, he did a um, lot of body work. He did in the first round, you know, and it looked very athletic. And, and um, second round, same thing, a lot of leg kicks. Um, Spivak never could get, like – the wrestling going, you know, just gone, just wasn't having it. Get he was getting as he was trying to wrestle, he was just getting picked apart, you know. So, um, I agree, body work. Um, and then he finished him, gone did, yeah, he did some some hooks thrown in there. Um, 
and then was it a knee? I think that got him right knee. And I'll then, tell you what, though, it was a one-sided affair, though. <laughs> it was. It was not. It was not close. No, it wasn't it was, competitive at all. It, it was not competitive, and you know, good for it gone. Um, yeah, and for his efforts, I think his house got robbed, burglarized while he was fighting. <laughs> Lost like a, you know, hundred plus thousand dollars was a shit. Yep, which is wild. Hey, what? he lives in in uh, where does he live? I don't even know. Does it? Does he live in Paris? Yeah, he does. Okay, fucked up. I mean, you you kind of know he's busy, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but do you really want that uh, heat? Like, when you're I'm in there, sure. you're like, oh I'm shit. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want this kind of heat. Because what it's if like, he comes home? But I know he, he, whoever did it, probably knows. Like you're saying, he's fighting, and probably a safe bet. But yep, I don't know. That's a lot of heat. It's a lot. Of heat. It is. It's too bad. I'm sure he'll get the money back or whatever he lost. Yeah, it. just you always hope like you, people didn't <clears throat> steal shit that's irreplaceable, you know. Mm-hmm. There's some things that may not have a lot of value to someone, but to him, a lot of value. Correct. Or they have a lot of value and they have more value to him. But you know what I'm saying. So anyway, he gets the win. Um, and again he's kind of going to have to wait for John Jones because he's not going to fight him again. So I don't yeah, know what to do. I mean, uh, weren't they talking about um, Aspinall called him out, right? Yeah, I think that's what they're talking about, maybe making that fight. Probably makes the most sense. I mean, it all depends what he wants to do, if he wants to wait, John Jones yeah. or not, you know, so... Let's we'll see. Does he want to get busy or not busy? It didn't look like he uh, took very much damage in this fight. Obviously, no, not so, so much. He's ready to go. Yeah. Any, Just from time. looking at the other guy being so ugly, I think he took some eye damage. But you know, yeah. that's neither here nor there. Yes. And then we'll move to uh, Rose Namajunas versus Manon Ferro. Ferro. Yeah. Can I just? Uh, um, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, can I show you the injury that Rose yes, s- sustained in the fight? So apparently, she. Uh, Fucked up her hand pretty good in the first round. Here's a picture. Which one is not like the other? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks totally fine. It looks but like right here. It's this guy, it looks like a couple breaks in there. Yeah, that one and that. So, um, you know, and too bad for. Then that happened relatively early in the first round. It did, but she didn't look correct. I mean, that was a significant injury to her because she pretty much switch to southpaw after that and then you know your right hand's kind of done but she should have done what uriah Faber did remember in one fight he broke his hand and then he broke elbows. his other hand he's like i'm just throwing elbows now like i didn't see her throw any fucking elbows and it did look like the size was a disadvantage for her moving up yeah. so and then also i heard that i thought it was weird that trevor whitman wasn't in the corner and I guess she didn't even fucking train with him for huh. this camp. And she she po- made some kind of weird post. It's kind of cryptic in what she was saying, but something along the lines of that Whitman was working with Gaethje because he was doing the BMF fight and she didn't want to get involved or be training or taking him away from that. So huh. kind of just was Pat and whoever else is in the corner. So kind of weird would she have different results maybe but i mean that injury happened and then there was also that weird headbutt i think in the second round where manon took a huge gash on the side luckily it was the side of her head and it just poured blood down like that looked fucking cool though looked nasty it was yeah yeah, it's pretty cool i mean how did you score it did you did you score it i mean i two one yeah it possibly three zero but two one for sure I mean, it was a unanimous decision for Manon. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, fuck. That's tough because Rose, again, so she, now she's on two losses and she's so heady. Like, she's got a... I, I just don't think she's got the mental game down. And that, I think that's a big portion of the fight game. Like, if you if you're not mentally there... And I don't know if that all stems back to her being on the bus when Conor McGregor is throwing the fucking dolly at the bus and she was on there. And I think that fucking kind of traumatized. 
she's traumatized man yeah. <laughs> she's shook as they say happens. so you get two two like she had that weird fight with uh carla esparza where she's just mm-hmm. game planned herself into a loss yeah lost the title and then tries to move up and wait which i i don't i don't think 25 is good for her i think she's better at 15 so big question mark about what's going to happen to her next yeah yeah uh, you know i don't know if she I, if I was her coach, I said go back to one fifteen and fucking get your shit together, and see like it's almost like she needs <clears throat> like a sports coach, someone who I forgot who that guy was. There was some guy that Rogan was always bragging about that would kind of like work with you um, as a fighter to get your head right. Oh, uh, like a sports psychologist? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, something like that. But there's a guy out there. I feel like she needs that if she's not mm-hmm. seeing one already. She might need five. Maybe. I don't know. Multiple. So, and as we're speaking of that, we should probably talk about our first sponsor. Hey, brought to you by BetterHelp. BetterHelp, BetterHelp. Um, the show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Yes, the show is sponsored by <laughs> BetterHelp. Um, you know, um, do you ever find that you just try to fall asleep and you can't or you know sometimes you life is hard and your brain is just constantly going do you do you have racing thoughts right before you fall asleep or sometimes you know i don't know what happens to me sometimes i wake up in the middle and i'm just up my, my mind is racing right um and a, a good thing you can do is you know you can uh, talk about that and during my day job i'm also a therapist so you know i advocate for this thing um big fan of uh, therapy i think there can be a lot of good things that can happen with that and whether you have or haven't been in therapy, um, you know, it's a good, it's a good opportunity um, with a place like BetterHelp to um, explore that, you know, from the uh, comforts of your own domicile. That's right. And if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge so you get a break from your thoughts with better help visit betterhelp.com slash mma nuts today to get 10 percent off your first month that's better help h-e-l-p.com slash mma nuts oh yeah fantastic right back to the show back to the show uh, there's another there's a ufc happening this week. oh yeah adesanya versus sean strickland i can't remember did we talk about this fight last time or no uh, no i think we just in general i think we looked at the poster maybe for it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, so okay. yeah adesanya strickland and tuivasa volkov so you, you know the first fight the odds are a little wild <laughs> minus 600 i decided i was a big favorite uh ooh, two vases uh, underdog that's kind of interesting and then it kind of goes downhill it does you're, you're just kind of going huh and you're just kind of scrolling 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 so it's like oh. two fights um what do you like in the main event Adesanya, Strickland. I was thinking about this a couple of days ago and, and remi- remembering that um, when Strickland fought uh, Herhea, um, you know, he's 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 a pretty decent grappler and he didn't grapple in that um, fight. So I think I think I'm expecting him to come out and grapple. And I, from what I, what I hear is Adesanya has been working on his submission game, you know, and he's looking he's looking to kind of put a notch on his belt by submitting somebody. So I think because sometimes when one guy's because Adesanya is a, obviously a fantastic striker, when you take away that game, because I think Strickland isn't going to want to play there, I think there's an opportunity for Adesanya to um, perhaps get that notch on his belt. I don't see Strickland winning this fight. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and pick Adesanya by submission, probably, or knockout Ooh. in the second round. One of the two. I uh, maybe maybe there's a there's a st- like a stun kind of thing and then he goes in and gets the submission just because that's what he wants or you know something like that but i i don't i don't see how strickland has it where does he win this fight i don't i don't know i don't yeah, see the, the only way i could see him winning is if he can get adesanya so emotional by 
the shit he says pre-fight. And I haven't heard enough shit talk yet because no. I was figuring he could shit talk him nonsensically to get him super amped up. So then he makes mistakes being coming in a fight overly aggressive because Strickland is going to have to brawl him and just close, keep it. I would say stay in boxing range. So you're yeah. not letting him like kick off on you. <clears throat> and then make it a war of attrition strickland's got decent cardio so he could potentially mm -hmm. i don't know if he can out cardio out of Sanya, that's tough but if you have a super aggressive out of Sanya in a strickland that mm -hmm. is fighting smart in boxing range potentially could win i i think we're due for a crazy upset i don't know if this is the one i kind of want to pick strickland just because it would cause chaos in the UFC, but it would. Uh, Man, that would be that's a. I feel like, but I mean, this one's in his hometown too. I mean, it's Australia, mm -hmm. so I think it's. Uh, I think it's a a win for Adesanya. But I will say, will not be surprised if Strickland pulls up an upset. Mm -hmm. And then again, the Tuivasa and Volkov. I like Tuivasa all day. I know Volkov's a little more technical. Tuivasa's. Like kind of fucking just swing, but he will, he's gonna knock you out and fucking dr do a shoey, drink his beer out of his shoe, and someone's gonna hock a big loogie in it. And I don't know what the fuck that's about. Why do they do this? Makes me want to throw up. Like here, random guy, give me your shoe and fucking spit in it. Now pour a beer in it, and I'm gonna drink it. It's like a handshake. Uh, I think he just caught these... the hiv. <laughs> well, these two guys have have thirty uh, eight knockouts. Be finishes between the two of them so my prediction is someone is getting ko <laughs> my prediction <laughs> is violence someone's getting so, violated and i mean you've got the hometown obviously favorite yeah, I like uh, yeah so i i i agree i i don't see to losing this thing in any capacity but you know i just think this will be the fight of the night uh, out of all the fights on this card these two are Should gonna be. throw down I, i'm predicting it to go about two and a half minutes maybe three well, to ivasa doesn't fight cautious <laughs> no, he's, he's like he's it. like in that style of mark hunt where it's and just engage you or it's finish or be finished like i'm just i'm fucking throwing man going down. throwing with uh bad intent bad right. intentions i love it love it yep 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 uh oh, what else is happening this, as we get out uh, of let's see, 293 let's see what else is happening so what else do we have um well, uh, we t Chris Weidman. I just want to circle yes. back to that from UFC 292. Um, you know, he managed to avoid the knee injury, but he had a fractured leg after that fight. Um, and, and I just, it, it just in his left leg, um, got fractured with one of those kicks that happened. And uh, I mean, I think there's some validity after reading that in what people are saying about him, like maybe thinking about not fighting moving forward i mean he's just that's he's just getting shit kicked out of him like not that he's losing necessarily but his body is taking damage that is like long term not good for your health you know so i don't know well i would say maybe bump up the calcium because <clears throat> you got some bitch ass bones in your body they keep breaking yes you gotta toughen that shit up but it's something he's deficient in something mm -hmm. he is yes mm. I was going to say something, but I'm going to not say something. <laughs> Don't say it. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's get out of that one quick. I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, it's the gaze and go. The, yeah. Let me give you something different. I'll, I'll give you a different okay. look and then you can go. Paul Felder. Yes. Dealing recently. He's returning to the USADA testing pool. Wow. Um, talking it's about. been out I'm, for a minute. He has. He has. But, um, you know, he says, I'm getting old. And uh, he's being a little cryptic with his responses. Um, he has no idea what's going to happen next, but he's back in the pool. That tells me that something's brewing, potentially. I don't know what it is, but something is brewing. Paul Felder versus uh, Conor McGregor? No. <laughs> I don't know. That's, Conor's that's... never fighting again. I don't believe any of that bullshit. No. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Good for him. Someone needs a spinning elbow delivered to their fucking skull and mm -hmm. felder's the kind of guy that'll give it to you so it might work out good for him i think it will 
I saw you. someone posted the salaries. This is uh, Jed Goodman posted the salaries for UFC 292. Okay. That up here. I was actually bigger before I clicked on it. So Sean O'Malley, 500,000. Aljamain Sterling, 500,000. Not bad. Saying Wei Lee, 520,000. What's up, boys? He's making She's that getting paid for it. you. Yeah. Uh, there's a 250. 100K, 134. Ooh, Marlon Vera on 310. But that's 155 to show. God damn, that is crazy. Like, I'm going to make 155 to show and 155 to win. That's insane. You should be on a set 310. Chris Weidman, 426. Not bad. Not bad. And the loss. Was it worth the fractured leg? I don't know. Fuck yeah. Half a million almost? I'd take it. Hmm. Because he said... It wasn't that bad of a fracture. I think he can get back to training in like four weeks. You should versus, do that. Totally. Versus if it was like a MCL, any CL tear, that's like six months or longer. Yeah. So good on him. Crazy. crazy uh, speaking crazy. of which, probably should talk about some sponsor action. Yeah. Uh, this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex. Guy. I changed it. Uh, remember the days when you were always ready to go? Always. Uh, mm-hmm. Now you can increase your performance in the bedrooms and get that extra confidence in the beds. Listen up, bluechew.com. And remember, you can take them anytime, day or night. So you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. This is a very simple process. You go to bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, You'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. No visits to the doctor office. No awkward conversations at the pharmacy. And no waiting in line, of course, at that pharmacy. Blue Chew, 100% made in the USA. USA! (laughs) America! (laughs) No. Uh, Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. You can try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code NUTS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code NUTS to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Yes, we do. This episode is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. Ridge Wallet offers a smart wallet solution so you never have to lose your wallet again. As we were talking pre-show about people losing stuff and putting smart tags on stuff. Mm -hmm. So the AirTag attachment simply attaches to your wallet to securely store your hard-earned cash. So you can see it's right there. This is a carbon fiber 3K version. It's still pretty thin, even with the AirTag on there. So... Uh, using either the AirTag money clap or the cash strap. This is the cash strap version. Mm -hmm. You can use the find my network to find your wallet. And I'll show a little bit of that right here as the overlay plays through. There's also an enhanced version with a carbon fiber cap to cover the white AirTag. If you prefer a more sophisticated look like the one I just showed you Mm -hmm. and you'll get 10 bonus entries as well as 10% off using our link ridge.com slash mma nuts yes and just keep in mind that uh it holds up to 12 cards plus has room for cash that's um, there's over 30 colors and styles including carbon fiber as matt mentioned and burnt titanium that's my favorite the wallets have over 80,000 5 five-star reviews the durable material means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty the ridge team is so confident that you'll like it they'll let you test drive it for 99 days you can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it that's right. And if you've ever been considering getting a Ridge, now is the best time. And you can save 10% off with code MMA Nuts at ridge.com slash MMA Nuts. Mm-hmm. Back to the show. Uh, yes. Like to say? That's mm-hmm. what they say. What else is happening? Yeah, well, <clears throat> in, in a not so bit of good news, you knew I was going to bring this up if you didn't already. Jason Mayhem Miller arrested. <laughs> I was going to Carol- say it, but I'm like, <laughs> you know what's <laughs> funny is I deleted it knowing you were going to bring it up. Uh, of course. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, there's some dirt. Arrested for allegedly choking a man at West Hollywood Nightclub on August 29th. Apparently, according to reports, uh, some fan approached him, say hello to him. 
Uh, quickly, this turned into a verbal altercation, allegedly, and Miller allegedly put the victim in a chokehold, and security had to intervene and break him up. I guess uh, cops were called and all that stuff, um, you know, may not be going well for him. He's been in some legal trouble off and on for quite yeah, some time. Yeah, I believe he's got a bigger dozen worth of arrests on his record, at least. <laughs> I just remember that interview on HBO. You're like, dude, this, there's something really wrong with that guy. Oh, that was <laughs> scary. Like, I, the guy interviewing him was feared feared for his life. Yes. He, he kept him at his house, I think, all fucking day. I think he like wouldn't let them leave. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's insane. Well, yeah. and CTE is a hell of a drug. Uh, I hope he sure is. gets better. I don't, you know, you can see where this one's going. And it ain't good. Mm. It ain't good. Uh, last week I was talking about there was a face off where one fighter pepper sprayed the other. I found mm -hmm. it. You did. And, yep. That's here it. we go. So this is the first. I've never seen this happen before. That gets pushed. And there goes a shot of pepper spray. Jesus. Which is interesting because, like, I all these other people didn't get hit. So that must have been a gel based one and not a spray based one because apparently those don't get as much aerosolous but effect from it <clears throat> but then i guess later on this guy also knife the other guy. <laughs> so the, the guy oh. that did the pepper spraying at some other i don't know if it was later that same day or the next day mm -hmm. the other guy came up and pushed him again pulls out a knife and uh it had some kind of like a spike on the top of it and he fucking hit the guy in the head gashed him in the head and caused him to bleed so i don't know what's going on with that <clears throat> but there's that sounds so crazy guess, yeah there's another thing it's not even russia that's over, here over the line man over it's over the, the top or over the line <laughs> <laughs> what is it market is zero <laughs> market is zero it's over the line market is zero <laughs> Uh, that's so funny yeah that's stuff. what it is um oh. what else do i have well we were talking about legs earlier I, I meant to bring this up but i'll just do it now uh dylan reichman um fighting at combate global recent over the weekend um here's a video if you're squeamish i would recommend you do not oh, we, here we go <laughs> here we go uh, this is where i'm gonna blur it but you'll get the gist of it i i i, I can i share sound i probably can because they love to do stuff to our videos. So, so here he is, right? So everything's looking fine. Things are good. So they'll do a little grappling. He gets thrown. And then, oh, the leg snaps right there. And a compound fracture. Yeah, not good. Pretty bad. I don't think we need to see it again. But pretty nasty. I haven't seen anything like that before. Yeah, I haven't seen a compound fracture. Femur. <laughs> That's the femur. No. Nope. It's all good. We're not it's allowed to show that. Uh, well, they. I don't even want to say what they do to our video because I, I think everything gets transcribed. But usually, bad things happen, mm -hmm. and then and they don't tell you what you need to change in your fifty-minute video. It's like there's something wrong with your video. Figure it out, dickhead. Yeah. Like thanks, thanks. I'm I just have to cut random sections of funny shit out because stuff. Anyway, let me cleanse the palate. <clears throat> Do it. Apparently, Derek Lewis and Nick Diaz are training together. What? Yeah, check that out. <laughs> they don't look that much different in size. No, That's and then I think I have another picture of Nick. Yep. Hang on. Is he more swole nowadays? He's in way better shape than he has been in a long time. Oh, look at him. Nice. Looking good, yeah. Yeah, because he, he had some kind of uh, injury when he came back and did that Lawler fight and got beat, which he thought he deserved. I'm like, yeah, he didn't deserve that, but I feel like he needed the money, and he had to take that fight just to come back. Mm -hmm. And then while we're talking about him, just one other follow-up. So apparently there's some kind of weed boxing championship happening that require fighters to smoke a bong or a joint beforehand. That's a big one. 
That's no, huge. it's going to happen in Thailand, promoted by Mike Tyson. We'll see what happens. That is, yeah, that's insane. I think that's a little too much. It's probably, yeah. Is over, that over the line? Over the line, man. I think you got Mark that as a zero. <laughs> over that's the funny. line. He's two for two. Well, this is happening out there. Uh, you know, uh, there's these rumors about Brock Lesnar coming back for UFC 300. Mm-hmm. And I was, uh, r- you know, excited. I about like these the rumors. Idea. Back in, it's, I think that's going to happen in April or March, potentially. That's when okay. that card's scheduled. Also, Ronda Rousey, you know, potentially. But Dana White um, recently commented on that. And he's like, I think Brock's done. I don't think he ever comes Ooh, back. Shit. Nope not going to happen I, I wanted to ask your opinion on this do you think that this is dana being coy or is dana being real is brock- i think he's being coy because there's two potential fights there's brock coming back and there's ronda coming back right brock coming back back is way more feasible than ronda coming back ronda i think is the the fucking head case and he, even dana said she is done she she did mma she did fucking wrestling. Now she just wants to be a mommy and be done. She made her money. Um, yeah. Maybe we should talk to Comprito and see. You've been training anybody recently? I was wondering. <laughs> yeah. Just curious. He would never give us the goods because you know, if that gets leaked, that's a problem for him. No, he would never t- say anything. I I do know that the one thing he said about Brock he goes, that motherfucker is strong. Like scary strong. Huh? Yeah. Then he was wasn't he always saying like he had to mind your P's and Q's with him because yeah, like you gotta be yeah. super ready to grapple with him because of his strength. Yeah. yeah. Yes, you have technique up your ass, but man, you gotta be aware. And then didn't, didn't he say something like that about Curtis Blades being he did. like yeah, Blades would throw strong. him around like like it was nothing. And Caprio's not a little guy. No, you know, he's like 235. Like, yep. So yeah, and we would grapple with him and like he would just fucking manhandle us. <laughs> because with him, it's like the skill, and then his limbs were so long. I'm like, I, I can't even grab anything. What the fuck? What am yep. I doing here as a fucking white belt back in the day? Yep. And he he would sucker you into shit just just mm-hmm. to, just to catch you in something. He's, like, well, he's just fuck. playing a black belt versus low level. They're like fuck, he's, man. Yeah, yeah. No, I haven't talked to him in quite a while. So I'm sure he's still I'm still coaching. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious if he's still. Did they move out of the the shopping mall over there? I don't know. Still in there. It's good. Good question. Where are they now? Segments, right? Yeah, we'll have to look that up for next show. Uh-huh. A little report. Maybe we can di- phone a phone a friend or something. Yep. Dial them in. I saw a Bloody Elbow posted this. And they were saying Kurt Angle was claiming that the UFC offered him five hundred thousand back in two thousand nine to be on Tough against Kimbo Slice. Oh, do you believe that? No. Yeah, it's very hard to believe. I don't. No well, but I think it. I think at the beginning, I don't think that the Dana really liked Kimbo Slice. I think he was opposed to him, mm-hmm. and then he fucking grew on him. I think you're right. But yeah, I, I don't believe that. I don't. Well, why would you want to bring Kurt Angle in at that point? He's just trying to get some heads on. Is he about to publish a book? Is he trying to get in the news? Probably. This kind of shit. There's probably something coming out, right? Something's happening. Yeah. And then as we were talking about older jujitsu guys, I don't know if you saw this, another bloody elbow post as I share it. Uh, So Gabriel Gonzaga just won gold at the IBJJF Masters World Championships at age 44. Is that him with the epic beard? Yeah. A nice graying epic beard. I, I don't know if I can zoom in. Can't zoom in on this, but you get the gist. Good for him. Who else won? I think Mighty Mouse won some kind of thing too. Oh, really? Yep. A little jujitsu match. Nice. Uh, what else has happened on before? Like shit uh, goes off the rails because my uh, next thing is going to go off the rails. That's okay. I'm, I have a question. Yes. Um, I won't share sound, but what do you call this move? Watch this. 
What the fuck? Oh, is that the <laughs> kid that Mark Hunt hit? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, sucking like, it's, the like, gut. it's sucking the gut to, to prevent the belly yeah. from being hit. Pretty he solid. just hit the fat. He didn't hit the muscle. Nope. He's safe. Does that still hurt? Or does it not hurt? Kind of hurts. <laughs> I just punched myself. I don't like it because I think your skin's going to stretch and then grab the muscle and pull it with it. So it's not going to be sense. pleasant. Yeah. So here's the fun one. <clears throat> so Paige Van Zant claims she has made more money on OnlyFans in one day than her entire fighting career combined. Now, wow. I will just say she has officially jumped the shark and she's sticking things in her casino or whatever you want to call that hole. Yeah, she's doing full. Yeah. There's uh porn action, her and her boyfriend, things are going in. I'm just saying she she's going for it now. Mm -hmm. It was I always wondered like when is she gonna go full bore? She's gone full bore. And it's if happening. you're making that kind of bank, who am I to say no, right? Who cares, right? More in one day than your entire fighting career. Like, how much did she make fight? Because she was getting paid well, even though she didn't have the skill, because they were paying her based on looks. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that, that Sage Northcutt, where they were doing that with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I buy I, that. I would I mean, venture to say she's making at least a million in her fighting career, if not more. I Total? think she easily could do that. Yeah, well. It's probably two million. Porn, I think, it takes up like a third or almost like forty percent of all internet traffic. So it's like makes sense. She's a big star um, in in certain circles, and I think there's a lot of weird per weirdo perverts out there who would like to see her cooter. You know, it's like yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think, and more. This like, but this yeah, only all fans thing is crazy. Shit that yeah. um she was charging for over it was I think five thousand for used underwear and. She's probably sending people Weird. private videos. And I in OnlyFans even posted something where I think their CEO just gave himself like a two to three hundred million dollar bonus because they've done so well. Mm -hmm. And I don't I think they're in the billions of dollars in profit, if I remember correctly, but they're doing well. And you know, here's a woman who built herself up in the UFC and mm -hmm. did that dancing with the stars, built a ton of fans in the process and now she's making bank and not she doesn't have to do the bare knuckle fighting anymore that was the thing that worried me the most like why damage your face like you're doing the sport that's gonna fuck you up the most don't do that yeah so doesn't make sense right no not at all it does not make sense i'd say good good for her and may, maybe maybe this next guy needs to do this too because he's showing off he's pretty limber Warriors of the UFC, but I gotta stay loose. I gotta stay ready. <laughs> that's what life is all about. He's pretty limber, man. Bruce Buffer showing you how limber he is. Why is wow. he showing off how limber know. he is? He's I don't think he's like 60. I don't know. I think that guy is like ultra weirdo, seriously. He's really into himself. Ultra weirdo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I couldn't even make it through his book. I think I bought his book, read about three pages, and said, All right, we're done. I am so awesome. I'm so yeah. awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Every, uh, everything. It's not everything is awesome. I am so awesome. I am yeah. the most awesome. Mm -hmm. Over the line, Bruce. Over the line, man. What else is going on? Uh, I don't know if we saw this last week. I I meant to show this last week. I don't know if this is you. I can't remember if you played it or not. This arm boxing thing. Have you did we did we see this? Like um, um go ahead and play it. Is this um, X arm or a different one? But anyways, there I mean we've a, seen some there's of there's saran wrap. There's there's a uh, saran wrap together, they're strapped in. It, this is a just a really ridiculous this fight. Is stupid here. as shit. <laughs> but one guy has the obvious reach advantage, right? Yeah, and, and he's gonna like, win all day. He's blowing them up and they're freaking tied together. Yeah, the other guy can't reach him can't reach him so 
I was wondering what you thought. Is this stupider than slap fighting or is it more genius? Well, why the table in the middle? Why not just tie a hand together and just go? Because then the guy with the smaller reach at least has a chance. Yeah, well, I think the table is to keep them from falling over, right? Because they're strapped in with those weird weight belts. So they they can't fall. They can't wrestle and fall over, right? So yeah. they stay it's, upright. It's, fu- it's fucking retarded. Totally. That's what it is. They're just trying to find, like, what's the gimmick? Right. What's the gimmick? Right. And slap fighting is stupid as shit, too. It is. I mean, the only slap fighting is a slap ass league. That's the only one I can get behind. I like the slap ass. Literally league. and figuratively. Big fan. Big fan. Mm-hmm. Do a little KO of the week. Let's see. Yeah, got, I got tree here. Let's see. I think I can play volume, and if not, I'll mute it out. Oh, but does that look real or like a movie? No, I, I couldn't tell. It looked like he didn't even hit him. So, oh, I heard this. You could hear the slap. Mm-hmm. Maybe that was just the digital effect. Some so guys like clapping. Pieces <laughs> yeah, together. he's got the clapper for like <laughs> yeah. 10 seconds left. Yeah. Another. Oh, oh spinning excellent. wheel kick to stop. Oh! oh, my God. That was so loud. It was really loud. That it was, was a deaf. nice KO. Boom. Yep. Ouch. Jesus. Ah, I still can't hear. That was beating. two. That was bad. Yep. And then the last one. Oh, 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 geez. It took like four. <laughs> oh, man. Those are the worst. When you've been knocked out, but you're still standing, and then you get to take another three for good measure. Yep. Ugh, brutal. Really bad. What else is happening? I think that's it for me. What else do you got? Okay. I got a handful. Let's do some classic MMA photos. Okay. Let's see if you remember this one. The little Brian Ebersol hair. Oh, yeah. The hero. Yep. Yeah. I saw that one. And then I had a seeing that made me spark this memory of let me close this Speedos. window you're damn right <laughs> it's, i knew it's coming dennis hall and dennis ball man with his training oh, man. mask speedo you got in so much trouble for that yeah he almost got caught from the ufc yeah, yeah. and then Balls uh hanging out cleanse the palate hey now you and a young check big fan hanging out on the beach mm-hmm Let's do a little tweet of the week. This one's been making this the rounds here. This is Shooter McGavin posting. It's like I found Happy Gilmore's mini me. All right, so you're going to tie it with a tap in? Oh, my what God. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <that's laughs> I can respect it. Ep- epic. <laughs> And then we saw this one floating around. Our friend sent this to us. A little mm-hmm. aggressive, but it's college football season, so anything goes. So yeah, there's that. I I'm like those. <laughs> well, ask the nuts. Um, do, 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 do. So a brawl breaks out in a bar. Your birthday month has your back. Are you good? think you are i think you might be gooder than i am though probably yeah but i was looking at so you got february so you got out of sonia i have october i've got nate diaz but if you were gonna take your who would be your top three like who you picking first second and third uh i gotta go with john jones as first probably yep. I mean, he's not only he's lethal in the cage, but he's also lethal in the streets, baby. Goddamn right. (laughs) I want someone who's going to knock fools out left and fucking right Uh, and be intimidating as fuck. Bigger is better. I mean, I'm going to go with Nate probably as a second. Okay. And then the last one is a tough one because, you you know, you want to pick maybe Habib, but he's tiny. So I, I I I don't think... I don't think I like those my chances there. Uh, maybe Joe Rogan. He's tiny too, but he's crazy. I- I'll take him. Yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna go Shemaya of third. He's at March because he's been juicing up. He's pretty jacked. Crazy picture. He's, he's got wrestling and big. And then uh, Nate. 
third because what Nate's going to give you is cardio and he's not getting knocked out. <laughs> no. And he probably is rolling deep, you know. So you're probably safe there. Uh, right into Knowledge. What you got for Knowledge? Well, I was going to ask you a question. The, all the yep. rage on the internet is this game called Starfield that just came out. Are, are you playing that game? No, what's this about? Do I need to look it's into like a this? Space exploration RPG. I think it's free on the Xbox or there's minimal cost because it's part of Game Pass or something. But hmm. I think I read an article that someone just flew to Pluto and it took them like seven hours because they didn't fast travel. Yeah. <laughs> like what the fuck? Why? Why would you do this? Because people are weird. Yeah, but I, it's made by Bethesda, you know, the the yeah, inf- be good. infamous studio. So I'm just curious, thought maybe you were playing it or not. But no, um... I'm not really playing any games. I went back to whatever that weirdo golf game was, just to try that. I haven't played that in a while, where it had like almost cartoon characters. Oh yeah, All whatever Star that golf? one was, no. something like that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Dude, that was a fun game. Yep. Ridiculous. But yeah, I haven't been playing. I did. Oh, I did put Call of Duty back on and played a couple rounds just to see. I'm like, mm-hmm. well, I'm still finishing first on my team. So that's that's a, usually a good sign when you can jump back in and I haven't played it in fucking X amount of months. I only played like two or three games. So yeah. I may start playing that again. I need to play something. I haven't been playing anything. So. Let's see what I got for canal. I just, you know how to negotiate a higher salary? <laughs> Fucking head kick someone. In- <laughs> perfect. <laughs> it's on a wiki how. I love it. It's perfect. <laughs> I feel like this is a move out of your playbook. <laughs> it's true. And then I, I'll, I can give you a little moment, moment of Zen here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh. Nice. Hmm. I, I never hey. understood this. I don't know. Not at me neither. Yeah, two more things. So some <sighs> someone posted this. There's some weird sinks somewhere around the world. Oh, nice. What the I don't know what country this is, but it's really weird. It must be in like a casino Asian, or something. It's yes. Strange. Gold. Very thin. Does that one have like a band-aid on it or something? Yes. <laughs> this is like really weird. Someone's shooting heroin in their cuisine. Oh. Yeah, and then we'll close it out with this one. Oh, we'll try a little volume. I'm ready. This oh. is a perfect glove for about two holes. Ah. over the line Ingo <laughs> <laughs> I got you now I got you now Makes yeah mark sense. that at zero mark that at zero cut it let's get the fuck out of here that has been this week's edition of MMA Nuts my name is Ingo Weigel I'm Matt Griffith thanks for playing